In this video, we're gonna talk about linear regression. And the most famous linear regression that we have, the line of best fit of the linear regression equation, is what we call the least squares regression line. And it's the most common one that's out there, even though there's lots of different kinds of re re regression lines. If we go over this applet here, here we have an applet, and here's where it's talking about least squares. So what we have here is we have A, B, C, and D are our three data points. And we're trying to find the line that fits it best. I can take this black line, and I can move it around. But what, how this line works though, so from C, I take this perpendicular dis, or direct Y distance to the line. I take D to the black line, I take B to the black line, A to the black line. And then I make a square. And what I'm trying to do is I want the area of these squares to be least, to be as small as possible. And so this square here is the total area of the square. So if I take just the line here and I move it, the squares change sizes, and that's, you can see that that would be a very bad line of fit, best line of fit. So I can move it back. And I can play with just this end as well. And so the total area gets bigger. And I can move this one down. And so I'm trying to get this area to be as small as possible. And when I keep playing with it, and playing with it, you'll see that this area here, when it's on the orange line, is the smallest area. That's as small as this can be. And so if I take the area, this residual, that's what this is called from A to the black line, the residual, B to the line, the residual. When the squares of the residuals are as small as possible, we get what we call the least squares regression line. That's where the line comes from. Okay, so that's where this line comes from. So we have two different kinds of lines. We have a regression equation of y on x, which looks like this ugly mess here. And this is straight from your formula booklet. So we have y minus y bar. We have the covariance over the variance of x is the slope, x minus x bar. So note that the point x bar, y bar is on the graph. And so x by y bar, I take all the x values, I average them, and all the y values, and I average them. It's always on the graph. But there's also another equation that is called the regression equation of x on y. And it looks like this. And again, note that x bar, y bar is also on this. And so the question is, when do you use y on x and when do you use x on y? Well, I'll try to answer this as simply as we can. If when we're doing our analysis on the statistics and we have x and we have y, if our control, if there is a clear control variable, control variable, which we also call the independent variable, if there is a clear independent variable between x and y, we all, uh, we're gonna refer to that as x, as we traditionally do in mathematics. y then is the dependent variable. If it is clear which one is independent or controls, then we will treat that as the x value, and we'll do a y on x regression if it's clear. Now, if it is not clear, if neither is control is independent, then it comes down to prediction. If you're going to predict, if you're going to predict a y value, which is typically what we want to do if we think about x as a control, then we still do y on x. But if we wish to predict an x value, well, then we're going to do x on y. If there's no, and if there's no uh, clear control variable, then we can make either x and y, and so we make this x like our y value. And so we make y will be the con the independent or the, the dependent and x would be, uh, we would switch them around basically. We make this the one that we're gonna try to predict from. 
And so there's really only one scenario where you're going to use x on y. And that's when there's no clear relationship between which is dependent and independent, and we wish to predict the x values. Then we do regression of y on x. The slope is this mess, which might be easier to see. The gradient of y and x line is the covariance over the variance of x. So remember, it's delta y over delta x, well, over x. And this is the y and the x typically, right? Well, this one, if I'm doing x on y, well, this is kind of turning into our x value as such. And so it's x on y, and so it's the variance over y. And the other thing to remember is that both versions have x bar, y bar on the line of best fit. There's a little bit of theory for linear regression.